Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this all new 2024 EV9 GT all wheel drive. Um, this is probably one of the most unique vehicles at the show this year. Um, I've already sat in it, it's it's absolutely amazing, It's uh, it just, it is so futuristic, I absolutely love it. I think Kia's done an amazing, amazing job um, with making these vehicles look like spaceships like they're from the future starting off up front we have this huge led light strip full led headlights and then these really cool kind of futuristic led accent lights on the side where the typical engine grill or the grill of the vehicle would be front facing parking sensors adaptive cruise control sensor front facing camera you got your kia badging right here this thing is just <laughs> insane. Coming around to the passenger side, we're gonna see that we also have some cross path detection sensors, gloss black fender flares that transition into this kind of rocker panel applique. I really like that a lot. These are extremely, extremely unique looking uh, wheels. Looks like we got some Hankook uh, Ion Evo All Seasons. And it looks like the tire size on that, if I can find it really quickly, is going to be a 285-45 R21. Really unique blue exterior color. I think this thing pops. Gloss black mirror caps with your mirror mounted camera right there for the 360 degree camera system. Extremely unique style door handles. I love that. Gloss black roof rack all the way across the roof. Right here, I believe we have your charger port. Yep, that's pretty sweet. I gotta figure out, push the button and then it closes. Cross path detection in the back. Parking sensors integrated into the middle portion of the bumper. We got your GT line on the passenger side and then your EV9 on the driver's side. Look at how cool these tail lights look. This thing looks so sweet. Backup lights right here, really, really nice looking. I think they did an amazing job. Again, like, I, like I've been saying before, smooth body lines. As you can see, she's trying to get the door handle open right now. We'll figure that out in a minute, but coming back around to the front, look at how cool this thing looks. She got it, there we go. Once they're out of it, let's take a closer look at the interior of this thing over on the driver's side door um, the color the materials everything is just so sweet I love this kind of flat and dark gray combo really sleek door handle as well something that I really like is all of the driver comfort buttons are all right here so your ventilated seats your heated seats uh, your different seat settings the heated steering wheel all those buttons are right up here under that, you have your window controls for the vehicle, lock controls, then the mirror controls. Right over here, we have the uh, power plug uh, unlock button, which is on the rear of the passenger side. This releases the front, or the trunk, or the, the front trunk, I'm sorry. This releases the lift gate, traction control off, dimmer switch for the instrument cluster, it looks like, and then your electronic parking brake right here. This guy's got a heads up display. Very sleek, minimalist style instrument cluster that transitions seamlessly over into a nice horizontal touchscreen display. Really, really unique style steering wheel. It's almost flat bottom and flat top with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. This actually feels really nice in the hand. We have your regenerative braking, um, like manual minus and plus right here. Looks like we have all the cruise control buttons, gap adjustment, lane keep assist button, as well as some steering wheel mounted audio controls on the left side. On the right side, it looks like we have different modes and then your selector for the instrument cluster with your favorite button and then your steering wheel mounted audio uh, call buttons. Different drive modes, four wheel drive lock button on the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. This looks like it's your shifter with your different EV modes right here, right here, pretty sweet. Like I said, very sleek, minimalist style. We have the temperature control for the dual zone climate, as well as your fan speed, and then the actual volume knob for the radio. Uh, this thing is just so, so cool. Metal uh, accelerator and brake pedals, 
minus, plus, freaking awesome. Then right here we have, it looks like a USB-C. And you can see when it's under power because it switches light color, that's really cool. 12 volt outlet right here, regular USB. Right here we have your cup holders, pretty cool. P push this, push that, you have cup holders. Then when you're not using them, simply rotate them away and then you have storage. If you don't want to see anything, slide that bad boy back. Not sure what this is. Let me know in the comment section below what that is. I'm guarantee you one of you guys will tell me. Auto hold, hill descent control. Uh, this is your uh, camera, backup camera, parking sensors off. This is for the key fob. And then this is a wireless charging mat. And then we have a little storage tray behind it. Very, very cool. Beautiful looking seats as well. Glove box is gonna be right here, which is actually pretty big. Plus there's a tray back in there. Coming up top to the vanity, it looks like it's gonna be LED lit. And it looks like it's almost like a suede or like a felt material. It's very, very soft. Same with the driver vanity as well. Pretty cool. LED dome map lights, single pane sunroof control. This, this thing is sweet. It looks like this is gonna be a video camera rear view mirror because there's buttons you can control stuff. That thing is just so, so cool. Also the seats. If you're in the back and you need more room, you can push this button and the seat will go forward. If you need to lean, lean the seat up, you can do that. Pretty freaking cool. I love the interior of this vehicle. I think Kia has done an amazing job with their design. I love how sleek and minimalist this is. Honestly, I feel like I'm driving in a spaceship right now. This is absolutely amazing. Let's see how much legroom we have in the back. You have tons and tons of legroom back here. Again, ventilated and heated seat buttons. You have the sun shield right here. I love the color scheme. All these captain's chairs are power as well, which is awesome. You can also adjust the bolsters too. And they have huh, leg rests. So it's almost like you're in an old man chair reclining at home in a car. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, it looks like you're gonna have storage in the form of these like kind of elastic plastic pouches on both driver and passenger side. USB-C and USB-C on the actual seats in front of you. Cup holders, looks like we have a large storage tray right here. I don't know if this lifts up, I think it does. I just don't know how to do it. But, oh, it pushes forward so you have access to storage in there. That is pretty awesome. So you can do the whole thing and then push that back or you can just have a storage tray right there. I love that. Really, really nice seats, customizable armrests. So if you want them all the way down, you can do that. Looks like the rear passengers have all of their HVAC controls up here with their vents in the roof. LED dome map lights, integrated hanger hook and grab handle. And the passengers back here have it looks like their own sunroof, which is awesome. Getting into the back is really easy. Again, these seats are amazing. They're so comfortable. I don't have a crazy amount of legroom back here, but my knees barely touch the front seat. USB-C on both driver and passenger side. Two cup holders over here. And I believe these seats fold forward if you need them to, to be load flat, which is awesome. This is just such an amazing, amazing SUV. LED dome map lights up top, decent amount of headroom. Even on the uh, C pillar, it just, it's this nice, soft, almost like suede or felt material. They did an amazing, amazing job. Let's take a look at the trunk and see how much space we have. Opening the trunk is real easy. You just come up underneath the backup camera to the right. There's a button, push it. It's gonna beep at you and flash you a couple times. And then you're up and in. We have some nice storage in the floor right here. It looks like we also have 125 volt, 15 amp power outlet right there. Second row left and right folding buttons. This looks like it opens and closes the trunk as well use a 12 volt outlet right here. Decent amount of storage. Pretty cool. When you're done, you can come up here as well. Push the button, 
and it will automatically close. Let's take a look at the frunk. So here's the frunk on this vehicle. Again, it's the button to the left of the steering wheel you push twice. It looks like this is how you can jump the vehicle as well if you need to. It comes with a, a mat and you have a little bit of storage in here for like a backpack or whatever if you need. And then I believe this is your washer fluid right here. Closing it's real easy, just slam it shut and you're good to go. Let's take a look at that window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this guy. As you can see, 2024 EV9 GT line all wheel drive. Bunch of your mechanicals are gonna be right here. All your warranties are gonna be right there. MSRP including options is gonna be uh, 78,315 out the door, so pretty cool. MPGE is 80 combined, you get 88 city, 72 highway. You save about $5,000 a year on fuel costs and your annual fuel cost is about 950 bucks. This thing is awesome. So there it is, the 2024 EV9 GT line, all wheel drive. Um, this probably is my favorite car so far of the 2024 Chicago Auto Show. Um, this thing looks amazing. The color's amazing. The two-tone, the blue on the black, all the futuristic LED lights, how comfortable the leather seats are in there. Those have gotta be probably the most comfortable leather seats I've ever sat on in my life. They're very, very soft, very squishy. I love them. Also, um, the driver and passenger seat, it's like you're in a spaceship. It's so minimalist and sleek. I, I just, Kia, you guys did an amazing job with this SUV. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date with more auto show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and please check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.